Virgo, we are taking a look at your person, what they are thinking about, what's on their mind, and their overall energy, starting off with their overall energy. So oh, we have pretty good energy, I must say. Pretty good energy. Uh, positive movement forward. Love begins. Patience, balance, everything looks beautiful here. This could be a new connection. Um, maybe you just started dating somebody new or a renewal of some kind of a connection. The only negative thing I see here, <laughs> oh, wah, wah, wah. there's always got to be that but, right? Here's the but. Suffering in silence, trapped in fear, memories of love. They are still energetically connected to someone from the past. I don't think they're together. I don't think this is a third party situation. I think that this person, it, there was a breakup um, and they're still healing and, and moving on from it. I think there could be some fear. They could be a little bit afraid of moving forward. They're not telling you about this suffering in silence. So they're not talking about it, but memories of love. So they are still connected to something from the past. Um, but on the positive side, they are trying, they, they want positive movement forward. They do want new love. They are planting seeds. Uh, they might move a little slow here because I have patience, but I have 1111. So that's usually a new beginning here and eight, eight, and then a lot of twos came out for you. All right. Current energy, current situation for your person, Virgo. What's going on for your person? Yeah, they just walked away from something or something just ended for them. They know that that's over. Just, I just want you to know, like... Sometimes we don't always meet people at the exact right time. Sometimes people are tying up loose ends or finishing things. I get that. Um, I usually suggest that people take a break, take a time out, do some healing before you bring baggage or anything into another relationship. I feel like this person doesn't want to bring baggage into this relationship. I feel like they are accepting and trying to move on here, but there could be times where they feel a little shut down. A little quiet on the quieter side or seem like they're in their head thinking overthinking um but the good news for you if you want this uh you can have this uh we have two of cups you the fool offer of stability and emperor so i feel like this person sees something with you, sees a connection, sees, sees taking a leap of faith, sees two of cups, feels that bond, um, that spark, that, that equal exchange. They see you as worth taking a, a leap of faith towards. So I feel like this past thing is just the, the end of their healing. Um, sometimes too, when you meet somebody new and it's everything you ever wanted, that past thing kind of bubbles up to the surface. Um, I think we're going into Mercury retrograde too. So that could be also coming to the surface because of that. But I don't think you have anything to worry about here. Let me see if what's blocking or obstacles. I mean, it looks good. I feel like it's just timing. Or maybe this person really needed you to come along into their life energetically to give them that boost to see the, the positive side of things, you know, and to get over that. But let's see. Blockages, blockages, obstacles, anything, anything. Oh, shoot. I'll throw another scenario out there. Oh. This person is moving on. You guys are good. Connection's going good. New beginning in love. Everything's balanced. And what happens... Oh, wait, my ex, they're happy. They found someone new. Well, I got to go in and ruin that. So their ex might be trying to come towards you to ruin things, towards towards this person to ruin, to ruin things between the two of you. Because now this person wants what they can't have or there's jealousies or, or envy of this person actually moving on from them and seeing them happy with you and they don't like it. Yeah, they're going to try and create a burden. Oh, boy. 
I don't think you, I don't think you have anything to worry about though. I really don't. Cuz this person that they they moved on. They done moved on. They they walked away. They moved on. They could have blocked this person or or they're, they're hermit not talking at all, no communication. This person is focused on you. They see potential with you. They see a bond and connection with you. They see taking a leap of faith here, an offer of stability. They see see this awesome connection with you this person's just trying to interfere they're jealous they're they're mad they're upset boohoo didn't work out so i need to try and destroy what what you're trying to accomplish i don't think they're gonna succeed i really don't um what's on this person's mind your person what's on their mind what are they thinking about that that was a painful ending they're not waiting for for that. They're they're single solo from that person. Yeah, I really don't think you have anything to worry about. The only thing that you may have to worry about is if this person seems a little shut down or quiet. They're not probably not telling you. They probably don't want to worry you. I'm not necessarily a fan of that. I'd rather be in the know. You know, I can handle the truth. Tell me. Tell me what's going on. Don't hide it from me because then that could create some trust issues and things like that. So I feel like that might be why this is coming up. That could be where this person is going wrong if they're not communicating this to you. They need to do that. On the positive side, they really are into you. They they want to keep moving forward with you. But there was a painful ending with this other person, and I don't think, see, they're trying to protect. That's why this is coming up. There's always a reason why a reading, things come up in a reading. Um, they're trying to protect this connection between the two of you by keeping you in the dark. How do you feel about that? Would you rather be in the know? Like, hey, my ex keeps reaching out to me. They want to try and, and work things out because a friend of a friend told them that I was happy and, and seeing you. I, I just want to let you know you have nothing to worry about. I'm going to put your mind at ease in case you see my phone go off or in case... You hear something. I want you to know. Like, I feel like that would be way better than trying to protect it with silence and not telling you. Um, they are thinking about telling you, but they're also thinking, well, I don't want to ruin anything. They probably got that crazy ex thing going on. And I only say that because the devil is here. So not all exes are crazy, even though they're made out to be. I feel like this one, they, they may have some, uh, some screws that need tightening. Um, they're done. They're done with that person. Are they going to tell you? I think they are in time. Yeah, in time. Maybe over some drinks, something slips out. They, they tell you. They do end up telling you, but I don't like how this approach is. That's all I'm going to say. I feel like this is a great connection. This could actually really go somewhere. Um, it looks very positive, but this person needs to don't start off on that foot. They need to not start off on that foot. <laughs> Unless you're cool with it, then fine, you know? All right, let's see. Messages. Distance. A separation you're experiencing is necessary to help the relationship grow engagement your love life is soon ascending to a higher level of commitment soulmate yes this person is your soulmate your connection is sacred i feel like distance came out because it's almost saying like you don't have anything to worry about there's distance between him and his past or him him or her and and the past sorry i was just speaking that way because i'm a girl um with their past engagement soulmate is is coming right up so Strong bond. They feel it. They feel this connection. Reaching your goal. Everything you want from this connection will manifest in the near future. Unbreakable love. Here we go. Unbreakable love. This person is not going to succeed. They're not going to. They're just going to make themselves look and crazier and crazier <laughs> by trying to destroy this. So uh, you don't got anything to worry about. But... I don't know. I would ask. I would just ask. I don't know. Or pay attention. I, I feel like they, they're just not telling you because they don't want you to run off. They don't want to scare you away, which, yeah, I get. But at the same time, I don't know. Truth, truth is better. Truth is always better. Because, uh, 
you're gonna find out at some point i feel like i don't the phone thing their phone's gonna go off and then that that could be when they tell you i don't know but you you they will communicate this to you i feel like i'm a broken record right now all right repeat repeat um virgo that is what i have for you 